guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be filming this look. I really, really loved how it turned out. So if you guys want to see how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so for this look, I am going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette again. But yeah, this palette is honestly like one of my favorite palettes. It literally has every color you need. So you're probably going to be seeing me use it in a lot of tutorials because I am honestly obsessed. So the color I'm going to take first is this one right here for the transition shape. And I'm just buffing that into my crease. I'm listening to you guys. You guys always comment how you want me to zoom in when I'm like doing my eyeshadow. So I zoomed my camera in for you guys. And I'm kind of like going to wing it out. Also, you guys don't mind my lips, they are bruised obviously because I just got lip injections, so yeah, don't mind that. And then I'm going to go in with this color right here, dip brown all over my nail. So I'm going to go in with this color right here, just with the same brush. And I'm using a very, very light hand with this. Slowly wing that out too. Then I'm gonna take this burgundy shade right here and I'm just gonna do the same thing, you know. I'm all about layering colors. Sponsor. Yeah, we're just gonna pat that on. And then I'm gonna switch brushes. You guys are gonna see me switch brushes because I just like to pack it on with this brush and then use a smaller, more tapered brush to blend it out. where every video like literally I always drop something and I'm gonna take this Luxie brush 237 um, this brush is amazing I highly highly recommend and I'm just gonna blend that in there I'm kind of gonna blend it like up into the transition shade And then I'm going to take this dark plum shade right here and then just do the same thing with the same brush, this small brush. This is the color that really like makes the look come together. Go back in with this really fluffy brush and just blend everything together. Okay. Now for the hard part, <laughs> you have to cut the crease. So as cards, I'm just gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape and this small definer brush. This is the Makeup Shack T57 brush. <sighs> Gotta prepare myself. I'm going in. And then I'm just going to take some translucent powder and I'm going to set that. Okay, and so first what I did on this eye was I took this color from the Jouer palette. It's called Bikini, this pink shade right here. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of blinding. And I put that on the inner part of my lid, but then I, it just wasn't coming off pink on my lid. Like, it was coming off, oh I guess it does kind of have a gold reflex. So it's coming off gold, 
So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put that back on my lid just so this eye matches the other one and then I'll layer the other color that I'm going to use over it. So I'm just going to put this color down first. And then I wet it a little bit just to give it that more, more effect. You guys know what I mean. I forgot what I was going to say, but you guys get it. You guys get it. Metallic effect. That's what I was going to say. I'm going to leave that for a sec. And I'm going to go in with this cranberry shade right here. And I'm going to put that on the outer half of the cut crease. Shimmer shades are actually really, really pigmented. Now I'm gonna take this light pink shade right here. It's so hard to hold this palette right here. And I'm gonna put that over the lid. Okay, and voila, that's how you do the eyes. I'm gonna put on lashes, and I'll be right back to finish the rest of the face. You guys, I actually am obsessed with this look. I'm obsessed. Okay, now for the face, I'm gonna use the Vitamin Enriched Face Base to prime by Bobbi Brown. I haven't used this in forever, but it's so good. Like, it's so hydrating. Skin is breaking out so bad right now. Well, honestly, like they're just scars, like because they got popped, so it's just scarring now. But I hope it goes away soon. I think it's like the climate change because I came from Washington to California. Now I'm gonna go with my foundation. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. This is in the shade 4.0. I haven't used this in a long time. It's always a hit or miss for me with this. Like sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. So we're just gonna try this out right now. I think this was too light for me. Why am I so tan right now? This is a dark color too. Oh, but it's gonna oxidize. Hopefully it oxidizes. This honestly covered up all my acne. It's so good. It's like super full coverage. I'm just one of those girls that can never match their foundation shade. <laughs> Seriously, I suck. And then for concealer, I was going to use the Becca Aqualuminous, but I don't know if it's too dark. It's definitely too dark. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape in light medium. Now we're gonna set everything. That concealer matched perfectly with this foundation. I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier powder. I'm gonna just set my cheek area just in case because sometimes bronzer gets patchy right there. I look so white in my camera. And then as always, I'm just gonna push that into the skin. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my Milani bronzer. This is my ride or die. You guys know the bronzer is always coming through. I think I'm gonna kind of use it all over my face too because I need some color. It's so hot in here. Oh my gosh. I'm filming in the garage and it's like so freaking hot in California. I'm like sweating. I'm just gonna kind of use the bronzer as my blush too. I'm going to set my face with the Kudali Kudale um, Beauty Elixir. And then I think I'm gonna go in with the Sleek Solstice palette and I'm gonna use this shade right here to highlight.
Okay guys, this is the completed look. I did my lips off camera. Um, so I used the MAC lip liner in Vino. And then for the liquid lips, uh, the liquid lipstick, I used Burnt Spice. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I, oh my god, this is like one of the, my favorite looks I've done in a very long time. I love how it came out. I hope you guys liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And please, please subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!